So GCSF is basically short form of growth factor, what is called as colony stimulating growth factor. And what it does is that it increases the number of stem cells in the bone marrow and then they come out in the peripheral blood or what's called as blood circulation where they can be collected. Now this is administered like insulin. It's administered underneath the skin and we call it subcutaneous administration. So a very fine needle is used and with that fine needle is administered underneath the skin and you know essentially a very very simple and a safe administration procedure. So it has been seen that uh, as I said earlier that GCSF increases the number of stem cells in the bone marrow and then from the bone marrow these stem cells have to come into the peripheral blood or the blood circulation where they can be collected. So it takes four to five days for these stem cells to be stimulated in the bone marrow and then bring them into circulation in the blood where they can be collected. So hence there's four to five days of administration required to get enough stem cells in the blood which can be collected later on. To answer this question, uh, the side effects are very, very mild. Some people develop some body pains, they can have some flu-like symptoms. But overall, it's a very safe injection and it has been seen on thousands of donors who have donated in the last two or three decades that there has been no long-term complication or long-term side effect of the GCS of use. So in short, it's a very safe and can be administered without any fear. So when GCS is given, as I said, it is given underneath the skin like insulin. There are no specific precautions really to be taken during this process. Of course, you need someone to administer to you. Uh, you can do it yourself also. It's a very simple procedure to do. But if you, have, if you need someone else to help you with that, it can be a, a, a doctor, a nurse or a healthcare worker who can do that for you. You can continue your you know, office, school, college, whatever you are doing, you can continue your activities during this process. But as I said earlier, there may be some body pain or a fatigue sensation and you can use paracetamol for that if that is a concern for you. Otherwise, you can continue doing your own all routine activities during the GCSF administration. So again, it's a, it's a very common myth and a common question that when GCSF is given, does it have any impact on the fertility or prospect of having children in future? And I just want to tell you, it's a big myth and there's going to be no effect on the fertility of either the male or the female on any future perspective of their having children. So in short, no side effect at all in the concern of fertility and these people can have normal children later on when they plan to have some.